Hey friends, Paolo Guy, Rob Phoenix here, uh, talking about the moon in Scorpio. Um, as the moon travels through the, the signs of the zodiac, just as a quick recap, it highlights various parts of our body. I'm talking about physical things, uh, the physical health. So when the moon moves into Scorpio, it basically covers anything covered by your boxer briefs. <laughs> um, it's like your, your, your sexual organs, um, also how we eliminate waste from our bodies. So... <clears throat> Uh, basically, Scorpio covers those things that most people feel uncomfortable talking about. Um, the best, the best thing I can say about uh, the health of our bodies in general is that if we start by putting in things that we know are beneficial to us, like I go, I keep going back to this: a cup of dandelion tea every day, uh, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil, um, adding more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables for our bodies, less processed foods, less meats, more grains. Um, but we know this stuff. This stuff is obvious to us. It, it's, you know, we know what's good for us and what's bad for us. Um, and so if we're making better choices with what we're putting into our bodies, uh, then our health all the way down will function more in the way that it's supposed to. Um, if you're having problems in any certain area of your life, especially like with sexual dysfunction or something, talk to your doctor. Um, but then think also about your diet. Uh, what are you putting into your body uh, that might impede everything working the way it's supposed to? Um, just remember that like our bodies are supposed to work. Everything is supposed to work the way it's supposed to work. Um, your sexual health is supposed to be good. Your your the way you get rid of waste from your body is supposed to work just fine. Um, so if those things are not working, then something's off. Obviously, all right. It's just common sense. Um, one of the things that you can do to help improve sexual health is adding more ginseng to your diet. Uh, ginseng is like the uh, nature's Viagra. Um, also, you can. <laughs> Maybe drink a cup of uh, tea made out of da uh, Damiana leaf. Um, I personally don't care for the taste of that, though. So I would recommend having regular tea along with it. You know, just mix them like I do. Uh, but that is uh, a helper. There's another one for men. It's called horny goat weed. You can uh, make that into a, an infusion as well. Um, uh, one of the things I want to say is... Uh, <clears throat> after so many years of doing this and growing plants and like working with herbs and learning about them and learning more about health and such, especially in the last like two years or so, I've really upped my game about my personal health. Um, I realized that God has given us everything we need here on the earth. He's given us medicines in the form of plants. He's given us health in the form of vegetables and fruits um, and food. Uh, but we've strayed so far from that um, by eating, you know, just becoming dependent on chemicals and uh, uh, overly processed foods and just junk garbage, um, you know, and then big food uh, is feeding us bad things. Um, we can still get back to where we're supposed to be. See, medicine medicine is uh i believe meant to be gentle it's meant to be gentle because if we were doing the right things all along if we were just growing our food eating stuff from the land you know taking care of ourselves getting outside fresh air um you know uh mild to moderate exercise again you don't have to go crazy just just move just move your body get outside work in your garden and such i believe that natural remedies would work 100 percent of the time but now our bodies have adapted to awfulness that we're, we're fed. Um, like, for example, aspirin. I know I'm kind of rambling here, but I have something important to say. I'm just trying to get it out. Like aspirin uh, originated with some sort of like enzyme or something from the, the bark of a willow tree. Um, the pain relief uh, quality that was naturally found in willow bark. And I believe at one point in time, you know, chewing on a bit of willow bark would have been enough to relieve common aches and pains associated with a normal, healthy lifestyle. Um, however, 
you can take two aspirin to get rid of a headache, but to get rid of that same headache with willow bark, you'd basically have to eat like half the tree. So, I mean, at one time, I think just a small dose would have been enough. Um, but now it's like we almost have no choice but to rely on the chemical medicine that's made, modern medicine. And that's really a shame. Um, so anyway, when it comes to your uh, uh, the health of your body, um, if you start by doing the right thing, you know, start by just, you know, fixing up your diet a little bit, cleaning it up a bit, I don't know, drinking more like fresh water, um, less carbonation, less sugar, you know, less fatty foods and such, uh, salt and chips and all that junk. Um, just making better choices all around. You'll feel better. Your body will work the way it's meant to. Remember, if something's not working the way it's supposed to, that's when you should go see your doctor and say, you know, what change can I make? Um, also, any advice I give on these videos or any advice I would give to any clients about like, you know, maybe incorporate more fresh fruits into your diet or whatever. You might want to check with your doctor to make sure that's right for you because everybody's different. Everybody has different needs and such. And you know, with the world being the way it is and the garbage we're fed and the chemicals and pollutants in the air and everything, we have all kinds of diseases and such now that people might have uh, negative reactions if they, you know, just immediately switch to a veg vegetarian diet or something. Don't do that. Don't shock your system. Um, you can slowly replace things in your life, make little changes. So anyway, Moon and Scorpio is take care of your health all the way through and you'll feel better um that's all i have for today so we'll be back with moon and sagittarius god bless you guys love you and we'll talk again soon